All new at 6 o'clock, cracking down on distracted walking, upping jaywalking fines, and doubling them if you're on your phone at the time. Lawmakers on Beacon Hill say this is all about safety. And even in the nation's jaywalking capital, we found people who say getting hit with a fine just might change bad habits. Well, I'm like, yo, you know, like, yo, wake up, get off the phone. And that's the goal of a proposed law on Beacon Hill. This bill would actually increase the penalties for jaywalking. Uh, currently, it's a dollar for an offense. State Rep Colleen Gary is the bill's sponsor. She testified about it today before the Transportation Committee. She would bump fines in a big way. If you jaywalk without carrying an electronic device, fines would range from $25 up to $100. But if you jaywalk while using your phone or wearing headphones or earbuds, it could go as high as $200. Mm hmm. I love headphones. I'm wearing them right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's that's a little bit tougher. You see it all the time. People walking around, paying attention to their phones rather than to what's around them. I think a lot of people are very distracted when they walk in the streets, and it's very dangerous. Myself included. I was just talking on the phone. And that's actually not illegal as long as you're doing what these people are doing, crossing the street in the right place and never against the signals. But if you cut across diagonally or cheat the signal, that's jaywalking. And some people say it's worse if you're distracted by your phone. I would argue that I would like the police to be less paternalistic. I don't want them to take care of me crossing the street. We're paying by with insurance rates, we're paying in hospital fees. You know, we all pay when somebody gets injured. So it's not just their own responsibility. They're not just paying the bill, we all are. So if the bill passes, it would actually be up to the individual towns and cities to decide whether or not they want these fines. Some pedestrians we spoke to today say that they thought the fines were more of a money maker. They just thought the state wanted to make some money than an actual safety measure. But kidding aside, I mean, the safety is a key part. Over the last eight years, mm -hmm. the deaths of pedestrians and cyclists are up. So this could make a difference, potentially. It seems like anything more than a dollar probably makes sense. <laughs> probably. Right? That may be a little a low. A dollar may be low. All right.